Hello, everybody, and welcome to New Life Plus. I am your host, Eric Marion, joined today again by Mr. Tom Asmar. Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic today, Eric. How are you? Good. I wanted to start today off with, I have a little story from this weekend. So, we're at my friend Dylan, Dylan's house, right? Uh, Tom yes, knows Dylan. Dylan. Dylan's yes. one of our friends. Um, and we were playing, I don't even know what we were playing. We were doing League or something like that. And his dog, he has a new puppy, his name is Ollie. And he was coming and playing around with, he has a total of three dogs. They're all these little, like, fluffy poodle type things. I don't know what they're called. They're the Len Maltese's, aren't they? No? What, whatever, sure. Something yeah. like that. They're little barking maniacs. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> and so we were playing at the table, and Ollie kept bringing in toys and whatnot to give to Dylan. And was jumping all over the place. And at one point, Dylan reaches down, because Ollie had thrown another toy on the floor to go get it. And so he reaches under the table, grabs the toy, and jumps back. He's like, what the? Like, what was that? And we look under the table, and it's the lower half of a chipmunk. What? <laughs> like, just the low, like, belly button down lower half of a chipmunk. Oh my god. I was not there for this. <laughs> No, it was actually ridiculous. Okay. So, but then we searched for like a half an hour to find the other half, and we just couldn't. Did Ollie eat the chipmunk? I'm guessing Ollie ate the chipmunk. Ollie, My no. guess is his cat killed it. Either Socks or Tony or whoever killed it and just brought it in. Huh. But no, Ollie found it left under the table. It was really that... funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know funny story that I go for. But I mean, I'm laughing now. <laughs> no, it, was, it was honestly super funny. Yeah, so that's, that's my weekend story. But anyway, today we promised last week that we would retell the Manliest Man Challenge in that whole oh, adventure. God, that was that was an event. We have a group of ten friends. Yeah, two others, including me and Eric. You've met John. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> 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 anyway, sorry everybody. You had to listen to him speak. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> terrible crime. Love you, John. Anyways, uh, so we decided that we need to have a competition to see who the, of course, manliest man. Was. The manliest man of all of us. Of is, course. Yeah. That, that, where else would you call the challenge? Manliest mm-hmm. man challenge. We had some very high, high, and high pressure, intense, and very skill based, strength based, speed based, cunning based. Constitution Day. Constant. We had the entire spectrum covered. This was about how long ago was this? This was in high school. Five so years ago. This was six years ago. Yeah, we must have been. We weren't. It was either sophomores or juniors. <sighs> Those were the years. I think we were juniors. Yeah, I think so too. Because we were we, at your old house. We were at my old house, so it was before my senior year. Actually, no, we moved after my senior year, so that, so it was definitely in high school, but... Yeah. But no, we were friends with... Zoe was involved. We didn't start hanging out until, like, junior year, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, so it must have been junior year. So it was, what... Jesus, that's, like, six years ago? I'm old. Yeah, because we're 17, 23 now. Jesus, we're so old. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We're starting a new life. It's really... It's really... <laughs> <laughs> it's really wild, honestly, because, like, my little sister, Abby, is, she's a senior now. And she's going to be turning 18 in February. So I was yeah. like, oh, jeez. I'm six years old than her. Our younger brothers I'm are like, both in college. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's... <sighs> this is this is a strange time in my life. It's a real strange time. Yep. But, I mean, I enjoy it. I do, too. The fact that we have a lot more money than we used to have. Oh, <laughs> is a big bonus. The amount of stupid stuff I'm buying right now Yeah, is... the amount of dumb things we can do and not have to worry about it. Till we get an apartment. Don't get an apartment. Goal number two. That is goal number two. That's, that's probably a more house. More house. Yeah, we're, we're still debating. We'll, we'll we'll discuss that. Yeah. amongst ourselves, and, and, and then we'll figure out and inform, the, inform the people. So, but anyway, mainly it's man challenge. So this was, it must have been Tom Fee's idea, because that sounds like something he would come up with. Tom Tom Fee's come up with some ridiculous ideas. We'll we'll talk about more of them. At some point. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that got, boy knows how to think. We have... He has a great business opportunity, and you guys should always... Uh, yeah, we'll bring that to you next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, that... He gets me. But anyway, Manly's Man Challenge was... We were... We must have been at, like in the cafeteria or in study one day. Trying to... We might... I don't it was, know what, how it came up. Um, I think the big thing was... We were at track. Me and Tommy were like... 
doing the stupid competitions, then we were like, okay. You know what? Why don't we just involve everybody into this that wanted oh, to participate? Okay. Yeah. And then we were just like, what what kind of things would be in the Manliest Man Challenge? We gotta have different. different I feel like things. a lot of dumb things came out from sports. Because remember that time where you, you didn't play soccer with us? No, I didn't. Me and Tommy were playing soccer with Max. Remember Max from high school? Max Miller? Yeah. And practice got canceled. So we went up to the. Because it was like pouring down rain. So we just went up to the field and did stupid, stupid stuff for like two hours. It was really fun. I mean, it was like. Prototype to the Manliest Man Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> How far you can slide in the mud? Absolutely. Remember, the, we had a huge hill. From, we had what we called our upper fields. We had like five or six different fields. I watch you. So watch you. is a huge school. We had like 2,000 kids. Yeah, 500 in our class. Yeah, it was Graduation to forever. Graduation was like three and a half hours. This year. I gotta go to Abby's this year and I'm not excited. What? You're L, you're M. At once, Gabe, Gabe is A. Oh, you just leave? You yeah. just get out oh, of there? Oh, we walked around, talked to family. Well, Abby's also in Wind Ensemble, so she plays during the whole thing. So oh. like, we got to stay for that. You brave, brave soul. Yeah. Well, <laughs> also, um, Adam graduates this year from Kentucky with his master's. Damn, congratulations to him. What's yeah. He, what's his master's in? Higher education, something like that. He's going to be a teacher? No, he's looking to be dean sort of thing. He works in student affairs now as an administrator. Oh, my gosh. Um... He's like, uh, he does this thing where he, he works at Western Kentucky University and he travels around to different states trying to recruit people to come to their school. That's what he does. So it's a pretty cool job, actually. He gets to go all over the place and gets basically a free vacation, which is kind of cool. Adam, I'm looking for a job. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but anyway, it's the Manliest Man Challenge. What were the, some of the... Well, things we did. Do you want to go with the tame ones, or do you want? <laughs> so we think they're really ridiculous with some of them. Uh, for, <laughs> the tame ones. We Let's, were all very safe with all of these things. We we knew our limits mostly. <laughs> <laughs> um, the tame yeah, one I could think of was we had, some. We had some of the athletic ones were who could throw a baseball the farthest. Farthest baseball throw. That was, and I didn't participate in any of these. I was the proctor. Yeah. I, I was I was the impartial judge who, who got to administer all the pain. <laughs> we, won't talk, we won't talk about the pain just yet. <laughs> pain just yet. <laughs> um, but I was I was the judge through the entire thing. Me and our friend Zoe, she helped with part of it, um, which I don't think she'll ever recover from that. <laughs> so that was quite an introduction to our friend group. But anyway, um, so the athletic ones we had for this baseball throw. I wish we had the original sheet. I think Tommy still does. If we find the original sheet, we'll, we'll, we'll show po- it We'll post it. Oh, my God. That was fantastic. Either YouTube or Facebook or whatever. We'll, we'll post a picture. But, no. So, we had the baseball throw, which, again, I wish I could remember who won all these. No, I don't remember anything about who won. I'm pretty uh, the sure. The only one I remember is the one that I completely lost. <laughs> which one? We'll talk about that one later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, we had that. I'm pretty sure, like, Ty or Tom won that. Because Ty is the Shop monster. Wood. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we, we had, had the fastest sprint. We had a hundred meter sprint. Tommy won that one, I think. Tommy definitely he's won the that fastest one. one. Yeah. Um, um, because everyone, just about everyone, was involved, right? I think everybody was, besides you. Was John involved? Yeah, it was. Participants were you, John, Tom Tommy, Fee, Tegan. You know, Tegan was there. Tegan was there. <laughs> uh, Ty. I don't know if Dylan did. I don't think Dylan and Josh did. No, I don't think they did. No. Eric, maybe? E- Eric was there. Eric was there? Okay, yeah. so Eric did it. Um, no, Dylan definitely participated, because I remember him in the Hunger Games. Ah, yes. So Dylan was... So I think everyone was involved. Because Mike participated. He did? Yeah. I think so. Huh, okay. So we all participated, besides Eric. Yeah, I think everyone participated except for me, because I was running it. Because it was like, it was like me, I don't know how I got out of all of this, but I did. So I, was, I played a lot of them just because it was kind of fun. Yeah. Like, I, I participated in, this, in all the athletic ones just because it was like, it was fun to participate. And those ones, like, there's no judging to it. Yeah, it's just, if it's you just, win, you if win. If you, you win, you win, win. It's easy, yeah. yeah. There's no real rule breaking. And most of these were like, rule-less, manless match. So I was like, in the sprints, I remember there being some pushing and shoving. Like, it was clearly not, like, track-style race where it's very organized. No, it was like, you've got to run 100, 100 meters, you're going to get to the end of the race. It doesn't matter how you do it. 
So there was some, there was some definite foul play, but that was that was fine. You, I, it, we, we, you gotta be a man, Tom. Gotta be man. Manly is man. So we are men. Strength of a coursing river. <laughs> Straight Mulan right there. But um, don't copyright so us. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but we had other athletic challenges too like i'm pretty sure we tried hurdles in high jump uh that was a terrible idea like we kind of went through the entire like track Basic and track, field yeah um, i think we broke into the track um track track storage area got some discs and shot puts but i don't remember we didn't have we did shot put yeah i think i think discus was dangerous discus we didn't do we did frisbee yeah yeah it was like frisbee. an ultimate frisbee throw um also, we do the high jump. I think was just was just Tom jumped yeah. a few times, and we were like, "Yeah, fuck." Yeah, <laughs> like, good job, Tom. Because yep. he actually did high jump in track, and he could. He's a freaking bunny. I was I was his coach. I told him don't hit the bar. He did really don't hit the bar, track. Tom. All right, I won't hit the bar. But so after that, we had I think we did like soccer. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like a full game of soccer. It was like soccer one kick, on one, like or one on one or something like that. Yeah. Um. That was really it. Those were really the tame ones. For the most part. So a lot of those are just like, all right, here's a general game or competition or whatever. Whoever wins, wins. Um, then we got into the more obscure physical challenges, I guess, if we want to call it that way. <laughs> we'll get into the more dangerous ones later. Uh, so it's got to listen to the end for the, <laughs> for the bad stuff. Um, but we did Hunger Games, uh, that which was, was really fun. fun. That, that was, was really cool. Fun. What we did, we had... Um, the neighborhood I used to live in, we had everyone meet at my house, which was kind of central in this neighborhood, so it was kind of a good spot. Um, but it was very, like, suburbia-style area. Actually, where I live now would be super cool, because it's literally in the middle of nowhere. It's like... Yes, but we'll get eaten by coyotes. You're actually... Yeah, you can get eaten by coyotes. But that makes it manlier. <laughs> <laughs> like, there are actually people out in our oh woods my God, right now with coyotes. Yeah, we could. That'd be awesome. That'd be so fun. Dude, we could do this. Part two. Maybe it's maybe help challenge part two. Yeah. Well, the problem with paintballs is we can't be near the house. So I guess we could just base it in the woods. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's... If you get shot, you're out. <laughs> dead. Well, there you go. Not dead. What I want to do with that is almost make it like PUBG. Like if we can all get a satellite image of our prop- my property, which we have, but actually have it so we can update it like a map. So it's like you have a GPS where you're standing and it's like, okay, this is the new circle. You have to be inside that. And actually play like real life PUBG uh, or something like that. That'd I be think, super cool. I, I think, think the best idea is to use walkie talkies and then we can. Well, but then you it's hard to tell like where the circle is, right? Um, we could have like def- designated quote unquote zones, like zone one, zone two, zone three. You have to go to those zones. It's, oh, the, easiest, so. it's the easiest way I can think of it. Yeah. I'll have to play around with it because that'd be cool. That'd be cool to make a video up too. Yeah. That'd be a lot of fun. I feel like we need a drone for that though. Or just have a goat camp, uh, goat, the... You get GoPros. GoPros, yes. Yeah. So now, you might have a GoPro we could use, but we'd really need, like, one each. Because you really want to, like, wear one in your hand. And then if, and then if you die, you have to shoot the GoPro. <laughs> just destroy the GoPro you paid for. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. No, it has the casing. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Or you could just be like... Destroy it. Post-editing. Oh. <laughs> oh, we could actually <laughs> smash it, too. Oh, you're dead. There's your prize money. Um, so we did that. <laughs> the way it worked out was we kind of had like, what do they call it in the movies? Uh, like central area where they all start. Cornucopia. Cornucopia, that's what it was. Yeah. yeah. So that was basically my side yard. And every 10, 15 minutes or so, I'd put more shit out there and, and put a call over the walkie talkie, text everybody at the same time. You'd be like, oh, this stuff is here. So we had things like water bottle or water guns, <laughs> water, water, water balloons. balloons. We had <laughs> sharpies, which could be used as knives. Um, you could throw them too. You could throw them too. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, else? we had some weird crap in there. We should have had Nerf guns. We should have, but then there would have been literally Nerf bullets all over the true. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. You're right. Town. Like we were running through neighbors' yards and through their woods. It was. It was. It was. It was, it was ridiculous. It was fun though. But I remember. It was, Ian, my younger brother, was down our street, 
and you guys just like out of the woods. There was like two teams of two. Like people started ganging up and making little groups, and you guys just ganged up on Ian. And I could see, I could see him from the house because I was sitting there. I was like, oh god, there's Ian. I could see them starting to ambush, and it was like three teams of two just ran at him, and he squealed up the road. It was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> but that was great. So Man of the Man Challenge was, or not Man of the Man Challenge, the Hunger Games. Games was a cool portion. Yeah. Um, and we had knife fights. Ah, uh, yes. We learned that Tegan has a killer inside of him. <laughs> Tegan's just going to be a murderer. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but no, we were using... Sharpies. We were using Sharpies. Yeah. There's knife fight. And we wore, we wore white shirts and white pants. And if you got cut, you you, you lose. Or you're like, yeah. you lose that limb or whatever. I don't remember exactly how we did it. But it was knife fights. So that was actually super fun. It was. Um, that was cool just to do. <laughs> yeah, people yeah. people were creative with what they did. Yeah. Some people were sliding around. We were playing on grass, so it wasn't like, oh, God, my <laughs> leg. Who was it that threw it every time? It was, it was probably Josh. Or Josh. I think it was Josh. Josh would just throw it every time, and if he hit it, he won. If he didn't, he'd just get chased down and murdered. <laughs> Well, it is. That's how you if you throw your weapon. Yeah, because when we did it, we had like boundaries. Like you couldn't go to. You had like ten yard. Yeah, it was, yard, yeah, it was like sumo wrestling. So, yeah, it was really. It was. It was small. It wasn't. You couldn't go far. Um, so that was really fun. Then we had sword fighting. We used and nerf we, swords. We used nerf swords. So it was, it was sword fighting. We had like sword and shield and that sort of thing. <laughs> so that was cool. Um, well, did you remember the, the the worst pain one? The ping pong one? Oh yes, I was. Th- yes, we. <laughs> you know, if you guys don't know what sting pong, sting, pong, sting pong, war pong. Yeah, it's got like a million different names. Um, Eric and Zoe took a. Well, let's ping- explain the sting pong first. Is ah, yes. when you're playing ping pong, every point you score, the other person has to turn around, lift their shirt up, and you get to smack the ball at the back, and you leave a big welt, and that's how you get points. And what we did was, instead of, and for the pain challenge, was instead of scoring points, they just walked down the line and just, pew, just everybody's back. It. It's like whoever lasts the longest one. one. Has the last the longest one. And I'm pretty sure it came down to, like, Tom, Fee, and Ty, and they just won't give up. And so they're like, their backs were like covered in welts. It was, we should have, thinking think? back, we should have just done paintball guns because it would have been a lot faster. Yeah. Because, like, it sure it stings and it leaves a little welt, but it doesn't hurt. Not like, really. All that much, like you can, you can take it. Um, Did, didn't, didn't at one point you just start taking the ping pong paddle? Yeah, I started hitting with the ping pong paddle. Yep, oh, that was interesting. <laughs> it was, it was really dark. Honestly, like we were in our garage or my garage, and <laughs> all we needed was some black and it was like, it was dark. It looked like some kind of like cult scene. I mean, cult slash like um some initiation some, um, ritual. What, what do they call the um frat things to get in initiation? Initiation? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Hazing. It was like frat hazing. Oh, yeah, hazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, not hazing. Mm-hmm. That's illegal in frat culture. Is it? It is. At least in my school it was. We weren't hazing anybody. No. You weren't getting anything out of this. We was literally just, do you want to get into the <laughs> ping pong balls? <laughs> sure. Okay. See, this is where I started getting really excited that I was the judge and didn't have to do any of this. Because it got worse from here. We did, we did the ultimate pain challenge. We had a line. We had a box of Legos. We spilled them on the ground. And we just ring around the rosy the Legos. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was... Because at first they had it so clumped up that it was easy to walk on. Because like once, once they're so dense, it's yeah. really not... It doesn't hurt. Um, so we like spread them out so it was like randomly. And they had to like look up in March or something like that. But honestly, it wasn't that bad. I don't think no. anybody really quit. No, it was it was a lot less. I think the pain with Legos is when you step on one unexpectedly, it's just like a single one that gets you. Yeah. But it's like, if you're expecting it and there's a ton, it's kind of just like walking on gravel. What we needed was uh these bad boys nice, right some here. Some nice D4s, little caltrops. Oh, yeah. These would go into your foot, and you wouldn't want to go on it more oh, than once. That would actually puncture your foot, though. That one's metal, yeah. Yeah, like, that would hurt so much. It's man those magic I remember when, when I was a kid, <laughs> I was running on the beach with my cousin, Max, with my grandmother. We were running, it was low tide, so we were just like sprinting on the beach because it was super fun. Yeah. And I ran my foot over a seashell and just cut the entire bottom of my foot open. It was the worst. That is no bueno, senor. No. It was either, I don't know if it was a nail or a seashell, I couldn't find it afterwards, but it hurt so much. There was blood on my foot. I'm but, sure it was sure it was a lot less dramatic than I remember it being. So yeah, like but 10 still, years old. But, but still, like, you're running on you're running on the beach. You get cut, and then you're like, what are you gonna like, do? Go in the salt nowhere. water. Yeah, you just go drop. in the sand. Yeah, like th- there's no good happy medium there. No, it's, it it was 
the absolute worst. So, yeah. yeah. So what else did we do? We did... Oh, I can't... Th- there's, you know which one I'm thinking I about. know which one you're thinking of, which was, like, the worst. I don't even know if I want to talk about it. <laughs> it's not hazing, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what, what? what else did we do? We had a lot. We, did, we had so many. Th- it was a huge list, and there's no way we're going to remember everything that was on it. I want to find It was, like, list. 50 events over the course of an entire year. I don't think we ever finished either. I no. think I think everyone was pretty close, too. We had the dance-off. That was funny. That was, like, super funny. <laughs> Have you ever seen Dylan dance? Is, <laughs> picture the whitest boy you know. And see him do a little shimmy. Like, that was the funniest. Um, then we also had, like, more brain challenges, too, didn't we? We had... We had one... <laughs> Yeah. Dylan you remember Dance. Dylan dancing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was... He, it was the funniest thing. Because he was doing... I forget who... They were in a line. And Dylan was doing like this little shimmy dance thing. And he comes up and at the end of it, he kisses somebody on the cheek. And everyone just died. It was so funny. Oh, he kills me. Oh. But... We, but yeah, we had more intellectual based ones too. We had. Didn't we do like chess or something? We did chess. Yeah, we definitely did chess. I remember that. Um, we did. Uh, name that song. Oh, God. Josh, Josh actually crushed Josh, that. Josh yeah, killed he's it. He's insane. Um, yeah. he, at one point, he could name every Beatles song and tell you what album it's on and what number it was on the track. Yeah. Like, if you don't believe. Like, he actually like demonstrated it to me and it was insane. So he smashed that one. It's basically you just listen to a part part of the song. The first one to guess it wins, essentially. I got the really annoying ones. <laughs> yeah, the really bad songs. Oh, they were great. Actually, I was watching um, Corridor. Have you seen Corridor? They're a YouTube channel. They were doing this thing. They um, it was guess that movie, which is you get an audio bit from a movie, and you have to guess what movie is from. It looks like a lot of fun. We should do that at some point. Um, Anyway, we did other things, too. We did... <coughs> I'm pretty sure we just did, like, different board games. Yeah, I could see that. Scrabble. Yeah, Scrabble, just things like that. Um, I think we came up with... Problems for math or yeah, something? Yeah, different random problems. Not even, like, math problems. There were, like, logic problems. There was... It was, like, we put way too much time and effort into this. But it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was. It was honestly super fun. Like, every weekend we get together and do more challenges, Man's Man Challenge. And not everyone competed every weekend either. Like, we no. don't get all ten of us together every weekend. It's just not reasonable. Um, so it was, like, total uh, percentage points. Like, number of events. Of the day. We never actually came up with a winner either. We didn't finish all of them, so it didn't really matter. It was more for it to do for fun. Yeah, it was really just, like, to have something ridiculous to do and pretend it was for a reason. It's, cause it's like you're in high school. What are you going to... What, what, what do you want to do? We're not going to do drugs. We're, we're, we're good kids. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> drugs. <laughs> <laughs> No, but no, but like, like, honestly, like, like yeah. we didn't as a group. None of us really drank or did or smoked or anything. So it was like, well, let's just let's think of the stupid shit that we want to do. Stupid stuff. Like, and when, obviously, we play games and stuff. We like, we didn't do it every weekend. But no, it was just stupid fun. It was yeah, no, it was it was it, it was, was fun. It was just pure dumb fun. And yeah. looking back at it, I enjoyed that time in my life. So I can say that it was not no regrets. No, I mean I didn't have to participate in any of it. I didn't get any pain. It was great. I played all the games, cause, just because why not? I may as well play the games. Oh, Eric, you missed the... Is it time to reveal the greatest? <laughs> the greatest. <laughs> the quintess- now, this is going to sound a lot worse than it actually was. <laughs> I don't even want... So... Well... <laughs> uh, in order to test how tough you are under... A extreme sh- circumstances. Extreme circumstances. <laughs> and say you got in a lot of trouble with the law for whatever reason. Um, trouble with the law, like sh- captured. Ca- law. Captured and tortured. <laughs> and sh- It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> we had we had an idea. We had, to, we had to deal with some torture. The Chinese water drop was uh too, it was gonna take too long. Yeah, it was gonna take way too long. So, oh, we we did the um 
Sensory deprivation. Remember that? I do not. Oh, that was cool. We Boy. did. We did. We were in my attic. And I'm pretty sure it was just like we sat them in the attic and in different closets and stuff. And it's like, turn the lights out and just left people there. And it's like whoever came out last one. It was really bad. <laughs> It wasn't even. It wasn't even bad. It was just like we locked people in closets. It was hours at a time. I don't remember this one. Like I'm pretty sure Dylan fell asleep at one point and just like came out like five hours later. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, that one wasn't. Like, it wasn't even no. a challenge. It would have been if it was like sixty hours. Yeah, but that was it was just like a couple hours. No, whatever. it was just like a couple hours. It wasn't. That wasn't a very good one. I just it hit my mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but continue. Uh, yes, extreme uh, high pressure situation, and uh, <clears throat> well, we decided the only reasonable way to torture somebody in our in the group was to uh, waterboard each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't actually waterboarding. Oh. It was. <laughs> it was what we did. We we're in my bathtub, okay, <laughs> and we put a cloth over your face and just dump water on your face, which I guess is how you do waterboarding. More, or less. but I mean, no one was tied down. You could just you were just sitting there. You could just. <laughs> you could just can you imagine we actually like, tied people down? Yeah, that'd like, be crazy. For this, but no, most people was like water test their face. They'd spring up and like coughing everywhere. Yeah, no, that was me. But I lasted point oh, two coins. seconds. Yeah, point two seconds. Yeah. Man. Like we, we didn't even get the timer started before Tom was like, nope, I'm done. Nope. So, so no one was actually like in going to get hurt or be uncomfortable. But Eric O'Coin sat there for like two minutes. And then you guys just gave up. And we, we gave up on him because we were like, is he dead? But he was like, no, just keep going. So oh. that boy is some kind of like legend. U.S. government. Good luck with that. Like, you, you don't think, like, I put a washcloth in your face and dumping water on your head doesn't sound horrible. But the second it goes up your nose, you're just like, oh. But it feels like you're drowning. Yeah. It's the worst. But he just took it. I don't know how, but he just did. So that was impressive. Yeah. And that was definitely the worst thing we did. Which, I mean, in hindsight, talking about it, it's like, yeah, that sounds really bad. But, but in, in actuality, hindsight, no one got hurt. No one was. Like, it was just, it was fun. It was interesting. Still dream about it. <laughs> <laughs> Still have nightmares. That was, I was like, I was, I'm pretty sure that's why Zoe stopped hanging out with us for a little while after that. Because she actually let, accidentally let us slip to her parents. And there was like, there's no way you're going back to Eric's house. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's so, fine. Yeah, like that. We, that's one way to make your parents nervous. Oh yeah, what did you do this week? Oh, I was waterboarding people. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Consensual waterboarding. Yeah. It's not a problem if they don't want it. That's eh, fine. Yeah. So, anyways. You know, it happens. Before- <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I really can't think of any more challenges we did. No, but if we find the list, we'll definitely send it. Yeah, I'd lo- I would call. love to find the original list. I'd, I'd be down There's with it. There's a that. lot. Of, I know Tommy has. We made a pickup line list, too. Oh, God. And track one year. But just just to be funny, like we came up with the most ridiculous pickup lines. <gasps> that was um, fun. That was, it was actually... because John wanted to ask out some girl. I don't even remember who it was. I don't think he ever ended up talking to her. Uh, I'll write um, it down just because we don't want to embarrass them. I'll we'll go with that. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, he might have asked then. Uh, he did multiple times. Okay, <laughs> multiple. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but anyway, John was like, oh, I want to ask this girl out. And we're like, John, you know what? We've got you. Easy like, peasy. We have got you. We can come up with all the... Pi- so in track one day, because that track means there's a lot of downtime. It's like an eight hour thing. It's like it's an all day event. You go to you go to track meet. You have like two events you participate in, which for most of us we were all sprinters. Yeah. So it was like I. It was this was indoor track. So I participated in the fifty, the two hundred, and. Throwing events? I didn't do shot put. I just, I didn't like shot put. I didn't like shot put because I had to stay late for practice (laughs) and do shot put. Which shot put's not fun. It's not a fun thing to do. You pick up a heavy ball and you throw it. Yeah. That's more That's it. it. Like, the main reason I was in track was, like, I wanted to stay in shape for soccer and volleyball because, like, those are my sports. Um, I did it because I wasn't good at any other sport. (laughs) Did you even play any other sports? Um, I played pickup soccer. That was it. Okay. Yeah. So, but no, so... So that's why I did track. So that's why I didn't. I didn't because I, I didn't want to stay till six o'clock just to throw a ball. Yeah, no, that makes and sense. So, 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 so I did the fifty and the two hundred. Which, if you're doing them right, 
it's only a few seconds at a time. So it's like, I participated in the meets for like, my 50 time was like seven seconds. And my 200, it was like 20 something, I want to say. That's pretty good. I don't remember exactly what it was. I only did it a few times. Um, but so I was participating for like 30 seconds out of the entire, so sure you had to like go get, get into my run group and whatever and get into my heat and go do. So it was like, all in all, it was like maybe 10 minutes of me participating in an eight hour day. But you had to stay the whole time because it's your team, especially away games. Got to cheer them on. Yeah. And especially away games, like I, I can't go home yeah, and wait can't. for the bus to go. Yeah. Um, so we Dude, and all of us were sprinters, the... except for uh, Tommy did some hurdles. hurdles, which he did like four hundred hurdles, which again is like a two minute run if you're doing it poorly. Uh, two hundred, four hundred hurdles only outside. I was so it was two hundred hurdles. Uh, it was some hurdle. Yeah, and then he jumped. So it's yeah. like he was probably the longest of all of us participating and, then, and participating and tie through, which could be a long time depending on how many throws you end up doing. Um, so. It was really just like, oh no, so of, much downtime. Yeah, no. If if you were doing track, then you could get all your homework done for the next week. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah, so but but, it's fun. But anyway, you're always with so that's why I had so much free time at the different to do this and stuff like that. But and I'm just messing around. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we were in Lemonster or something. We were. We were. It was in a way. Oh, meet. that Lemonster has a nice the nice indoor track and everything. Like indoor track, Wachusett had a really nice indoor track. Where we went, uh, Lemister had a nice track. Shrewsbury had a track. I think Algonquin. Like, I never went to the Algonquin. Algonquin maybe Algonquin. No, Algonquin definitely did have one. No, it was Fitchburg. Fitchburg, yes. Because that's where we used to scrim preseason for volleyball, and then we always they had a track. Um, but anyway, so it was like four schools. So it was like we only ever went to four schools for indoor track because most of the schools didn't have indoor tracks. Um, so we hosted a lot, but Lemister hosted a lot, so we were there all the time. Um, so we're sitting in their cafeteria and John's talking about this girl. We're like, John, we got you. We're going to help you. We're going to, we are going to make you a whole list of pickup lines that you can try out and use. So obviously this is a hundred percent just a joke. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, I, I gave my heart and soul. But we had, <laughs> we had a list. It must've been a hundred. Oh yeah. At least we spent Easy. hours on this thing. Um, I can't even remember a lot of them. Oh, dude. Some. If, if you were a Pokemon, I'd peek at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was, it's like, what? We had some really ridiculous ones. Um, <laughs> is there a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. <laughs> that was funny. Um, and then there was just some like absolutely obscure ones that we would just come up with on the spot. <laughs> like I said, I can't remember nearly any of them. Like some of the funnier ones stick out like those two. <laughs> It was came, just absolutely ridiculous. I came up with a lot of Pokemon ones, and I scored all over your Jigglypuffs. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's another list that Tommy has, which we should post, because that would be funny. Oh, dude, when the wolf comes prowling. <laughs> <laughs> Where did we find that? Uh, we found that in class one day. Yeah, there was a rap that someone had written. It was called, fantastic. Was it called The Wolf? Uh, no, that was a line. I don't know what it was, it was called, line. though. But we found somebody had written a rap. And I guess it was you and Ty probably found it. So they found it in class one day. It was the funniest thing. But Tommy keeps all these stupid little papers. Oh my god, speaking of keeping things. In high school, this was actually worse than I remembered. Uh, in high school, me and Tommy, do you remember my collection of uh, locks? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, me and Tommy used to uh, go, to the, go to the gym lockers and because people were stupid this is because this is all their fault how dare they mm-hmm. how dare they keep the combination it's all their fault <laughs> how dare they keep the combination to their lock on the back of the locks how dare they am i right yeah of course they're just asking for them to be taken exactly so <laughs> at the end of senior year we i remember having about maybe 50 to 75 locks did you really have that many yes Jesus. A lot of them I don't remember the combination to because people just didn't lock them. And every time we found a lock like that, it just disappeared. Yeah, yeah. No, there were my locks. I didn't take anything <laughs> inside. No, there was no point to it. It was more to just be malicious. One of the most ridiculous, or, no, not malicious, to me mischievous for locks at school was it was it must be my senior year. I rarely use my locker. Oh no, you never use your locker. No, because you had to like my freshman year we had a 
the dungeons in Wachusa, which is it's just the lower level, was the basement essentially. Um, dun, dun, dun. It was finished and everything, but we call, it was called the dungeons because it was yeah. out of the way of literally everything. Even the my lock was in the dungeons, and I had zero. I had one class down there, but I had seven or we had seven classes total, so six other classes. The rest of the building, so I just, I just carried around my books because there was no. So I wasn't gonna walk five minutes. Like our main hallway was literally over a quarter mile. Like yeah. from the front of the building to the back of the building. We used to run mile. tracks track down there. Yeah, we had track practice in the hallways because they were so long. We played hide and go seek. That was the most fun. We we did a lot of fun stuff at what you said. Yeah, like no. I would definitely go back just to use it as a building. Yeah, because that like going back to high school, absolutely not. What we no? Never I would do, I would totally do it again. I that was go, super. I'll go back to high school for athletics, and just because you could hang out with your friends all day every day. Oh yeah, no, that was the best part. Like like especially this, once we got like junior senior year, we had studies. It's like I had like three hours a day just hanging out with people <laughs> in, in the cafeteria, which is a lot of fun. And like when you're in study, it's like you can kind of just roam the hallways and do what you want. There was no one really watching you. No, you could do whatever. It was, but high school, I would go back for sure. Yeah, it was. So a classes whole, were easy. Classes were easy. Yeah. Um, you could hang out with your friends. You had sports. The responsibilities were minimal. That's true. Yeah, but I mean, like after school, it was an entire culture, really. Yeah, like all the athletes would hang out after school, and we were all there until like, like six o'clock. School ended at two ten, and we, we were just doing track. Yeah, you'd practice. have like a, half an hour, forty five minutes to get to practice, so we'd be there until like three o'clock. Most practices starts two thirty, um, what around then? Um, so like in between, and especially after practice. It's like it was just a big old hanging out time for all the athletes. It was super fun, like that was that was honestly a blast. Yeah, um, and especially game days when you know the bus didn't come to like three thirty. Really, you'd have like an hour and a half of just hanging out with all the athletes, um, which is super cool. That's the that's the one thing I thought about high school is the competitive sports. I honestly, I wish that I did more sports in college. Like, yeah, I played volleyball. Um, a lot of colleges don't have volleyball. No, no, not I, if I was gonna play. To like actually play, I was gonna go to Division One, um, but the only schools that had Division One were literally Harvard, Penn State, and a couple on the West Coast. Like I, I got into all three. Yeah, I didn't apply to any of them. Um, <laughs> just because I mean, more than anything, they didn't have any programs I wanted to apply to. So I was like, I played club in college because um, I that wasn't going to the Olympics probably. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we went back in time, maybe May, maybe if I spent a little lot more time playing. Um, but no, I played club in college, which is super fun. But it's like that's like the biggest thing I miss about high school and college. Yeah, the, the sports, the sports. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Just playing pickup games too. Soccer was my jam. Yeah, no, we used to play pick like my so- I played soccer until sophomore year, and then I went really hard with volleyball. Like I started playing volleyball four seasons. Um, I didn't know you went four seasons. Mm-hmm. Damn, good for you, man. Yeah, it was super fun. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah, we used to play club, like, soccer on the weekends all the time. Like, we had our school teams, which we all played for. You had to try out for whatever. And then everybody who played on the school teams and a lot of people who didn't make it out of the school teams, we played town soccer, which was a ton of fun. Like, it was essentially pickup. You played against other towns. Um, it was an adult league, so it, was, it wasn't serious. It was just fun. Um, so that was a ton of fun. We, I, would, I would love to, like to find an adult league of soccer I, volleyball. Dude, if we find one, I'd be down. Really? I, honestly, yes. I'll do that. We'll have to look. Yes, please. I would really like to play volleyball again. There's, there's so mean, few club you, volleyball teams. Like, in high school, I traveled to Milford to play. Like, it was an hour and a half to get the practice. Really? Oh, my gosh. And it was on weeknight, so it was like I had to be there for 6 o'clock. So I'd leave school. And this was during, um, I guess this was, uh, must have been winter time that I did this. Um, so for one year, I did track. And then volleyball at night. So I, I track back to like five o'clock and I go to Milford to play volleyball in the evenings, which is insane. Um, but I actually wasn't there for a long time because I injured that year. I like hurt my knees. So I had to stop. Um, so it was only like five or six months or yeah, it was, I guess it was two or three months that I played in Milford. But I was like, that was like the closest club team to play for in winter anyway. And that is, again, in, in the fall, like the central Massachusetts is not a great area to play it. In the summer, I played Bay States, which was like a statewide competition, which was super cool. Um, so we practiced in Worcester, which was easy enough. We should so, yeah. see. We should, we should try to make a volleyball league around the area because I feel like there's a lot of people in the area. Yeah, there's so many play. people who play, and um, we can also see if we can get like Worcester in there, 
We have the five towns. Yes. Yeah. Well, I had talked to one of our coaches was um, Coach Taylor. He, I never had I never had him as a coach. He was the JV like the, when I was a freshman, I played on junior varsity um, with Mr. Cranson, who was the JV's coach at that time. And then my sophomore year, I made varsity, um, so I played with Townsend, and then Cranson got bumped up to varsity, and Tyler came and took the JV spot. Um, so I never, I never played with him, but he was my so- freshman soccer coach for a while. <clears throat> but I met him at the JCC once because he was coming with his family, like Tork. I worked the the gym in Worcester, um, but um, so he came in and he was talking to me for a while. He's like, "Yeah, I want to start a team," and like I should, probably for more like high school kids to like. So we have like a fall tournament, that sort of thing. Yeah, but something like that would be super fo- super fun. Oh, it would be. Yeah, because a lot of volleyball is not. We're now we're getting like super deep into sports and whatnot. But volleyball, it's tournament based. So it's not like you practice during the weekend on weekends, you have games. It's like you practice for a couple months and then you have like a full weekend worth of tournaments. You play like 30 games in a weekend. It is oh, wow. super fun. It's so great. Like I really like it. Um, but no, yeah, we should do that. It'd be a lot of fun. I think we can find people to do it. Yeah. No, um, we can make, we can try to figure out like Make Facebook group Facebook groups and stuff like yeah. that. Well, I mean, so many people play, but not like com- competitive. We don't need competitive. Competitive. We can just do like. Make yeah, I a mean, team well, of play. Just think it. about it. Even at the um, even at the um, the picnics that we have in Rutland, people have those and mm-hmm. they do those. So, yeah. like, if we had something like that for like a season, I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. We have to find other people to play, but you make like a whole league. And you, like, oh, that's what teams. I'm thinking. Yeah, that'd be cool. Talk about that. Do that later. But anyway, I think we've kind of exhausted the Manliest Man Challenge. There's no exhaustion. There's just <laughs> no exhaustion. <laughs> we should do it again, though. Honestly, we should. We should. We should revise it. Maybe less waterboarding. No. <laughs> There's more waterboarding, but more tie down. No. <laughs> less optional waterboarding. <laughs> um, so what time do we have here? We, we probably have enough time to do one more subject. Uh, quick subject. Quick subject. All right. Um, Halloween's coming up. So we figured Spooky. we'd talk Scary. about some Halloween costumes. Skeletons. Uh, this year. Spooky scary skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> that song. Uh, anyways. Uh, what would we do? We are doing pirates. We're doing pirates. We always do group costumes because we go to our friend Tara's uh, Halloween party. Um, and we used to, when we were kids, we trick-or-treated, of course. Uh, but we always do kids, group costumes. What? Still go trick or treating. Still go trick or treating. That's creepy. What? <laughs> it's fine if you're going with like a little brother or a cousin or something, but like by yourself when you're 23 years old, you should not be trick or treating. Just that's a public service announcement for yeah. all you guys. <laughs> if you're yeah, over the age of 16, don't go trick or treating. Even 16, like that's still pretty old. If you're in high school, don't go trick or treating. I've been doing this wrong for my whole life. <laughs> uh, well, we're doing we're doing that. Uh, what, what? Oh, also, don't TP houses. Uh, apparently, people don't like it. Have you no. ever done it? No, I haven't. I, I never did any of the like Halloween pranks because they're, they're always so dumb. Yeah, exactly. It's like egging houses, TP houses. Like, you're just making a mess for people. That's not funny. That's, it, it is not. And just having people clean up, and then there's no point to it. Yeah. No, I never. I remember once very clearly when I was a kid. Uh, I must have been like ten years old, something like that. I was still t- I was still trick or treating with my parents. Um. But I remember seeing some guy chasing a kid down the street who had DP'd his house, and he was like, I, f- I feared for that kid's life. I would chase the kid down. Like, I'd be hell He was booking it, but this guy was gaining on him. The I, kid? I, I never, yeah, no, like, the kid was going to get caught. Oh, yeah, there, yeah. There was no way he was escaping this guy. This guy must have been a track star. He was booking it. Like, if, if somebody TP'd your house right now... You, I'd be you, so mad. Oh, I'd be, I'd be livid. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I'd be like, you little rat, clean it up. Yeah, just, like, just, just clean it up, please. Yeah, exactly. But no, I never did that. But we've had we've, we've had some ridiculous costumes. Did we do Power Rangers one year? We did Power Rangers. We always make our own costumes. They look fantastic. Um, we yeah, we just don't buy them, so they're really <laughs> janky. Um, this is the best way to put it, I guess. Um, but no, we did Power Rangers, which was interesting. <laughs> that was interesting. We basically you would wear your color. I was that was Red Ranger, of course, because it's Red Ranger, Power Ranger is the best. There was no Brown Ranger though. No Brown Ranger. No Brown Ranger. <laughs> um, but anyway, 
we had we made our own masks, which are basically just like cardboard that we painted and cut out. Um, and Ty injured himself using safety scissors of all things, um, which is he's not fun. allowed to use scissors anymore after that. Yeah, we we've banned a lot of our friends from specific items. Tegan's really any object that you could use to hurt a person. Uh, mainly sharp, pointy things because again, the look Te- in his eyes. He waves things around. Like, you wouldn't believe. Tegan, he could be holding a sword in his hand, and he talks like this. Yeah. So, it's absolutely ridiculous. So, he's banned from that. He's banned from hammers, because he actually... He <sighs> broke something. Or hurt somebody. He, with a hammer by accident. I, I would not be surprised. Yeah, so he's... he's we, but anyway, I don't know what anymore. But we... <laughs> so, we cut out our own masks. We painted them. We And they were horribly painted, by the way. Because we tried to, like, do the lines and the eyes and all that stuff. Um, then we, like, painted t-shirts to have, like, the belts on them and the symbols. We were doing the original Power Rangers, weren't we? We were doing the... Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> they had, like, the different animals. But that was a lot of fun. Um, it's more fun than anything. <laughs> if it doesn't look good, it does <laughs> If it doesn't look good, it doesn't look good. That's, the, that's part of the fun. Um, last year, we did togas. I don't togas. Think... I was not there. I was in... No, it was, that was just me, Tom, and Mike with a terrace. I think everybody else was doing random crap. Because a lot of people, we end up going to the family events or whatnot. Um, it was rarely all ten of us for big events like that. Um, but no, we did togas, which was interesting. Were you Romans? I don't know. It was, we were, we were whatever like bed of... sheet we could find. I mean, I... I no, I... we were trying to be, um, Greek gods. Oh, okay. Which was basically just a toga and throw something on your head, which... It was interesting. Nice, nice circulate. Nice. It was fun. We got comments. People thought it was funny. Most of the people there drunk when we got there, so it didn't matter. Uh, Yes, they were. (laughs) No, I was not there, but I assume so. I met her family. (laughs) (laughs) So that's it's always an interesting party. Um, What else did we do? We did. Oh god. We did a medieval theme once. Like we all wore armor and different things. That was fun. That was cool. I put a lot of effort into that costume. I like made armor out of um, this malleable plastic, which is really cool. I, like I like um, heat formed it and like made oh, it a nice. whole armor set. It was really kind of cool. Um, no one commented on it, but I thought it was cool. <laughs> it was really cool. <laughs> thanks, thanks, me. I tried my best. We should try to like cosplay like a comic con or something. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Oh, dude, if we were to do that, I already know what would I want to do. Well, because some people, they go so in-depth with these costumes, and they come out incredible. Yes. And it's like... I'd like to do that one time. The creative side of me just thinks that would be super fun. Eric, I need your help. I need your help. You may make a wooden cart. A wooden cart? Okay. You know the Cabbage Man from Avatar? <laughs> my cabbages! <laughs> yes, that is my goal. That'd be... Actually, that'd be super funny. <laughs> and then um, I want, like, a little, like, wreck... Like, so that people can lay down in it? No, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was probably, like, one of the best TV shows made for oh, kids. Of course. Like, I loved that show. Avatar Prime. I must have watched the entire season. Like, it was on Netflix for a while. Like, as an adult, I rewatched it, and it was so good. Did it you was... hear them making, like, something new about, like, an adaptation or something like that? Oh, really? We, I don't know anything about it. Because I, I knew they made the new one, which was the Korra. Yeah, but right? it's something different than that now. It's going oh. back to Avatar. Oh, like Aang? Yeah, I believe. Ah, uh, Aang. There's many <laughs> Avatars, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's going back to, like, the Aangs? I don't know what they were doing. I just that's saw cool. it on the internet, and then I was like, oh, that's cool. I hope they don't mess it up. And then I looked away. Cool. I'll yeah. check it out. Um, okay, what else do we do for costumes? I don't know, but this year we're doing pirates. We're doing pirates this year. I'm Team, kind of team will be Redbeard. <laughs> I, had, I worked at um, this place called Treasure Valley. It was a, it was a day camp. Uh, but we every Friday, I guess, we would have different dress-up competitions at staff. Um, and I had the, a killer killer pirate outfit i don't have it anymore why not well i'm pretty sure i have pictures of what it looked like i can remake it but it was so good i won we had this thing called the spirit stick we have we have like eric we have 13 days oh yeah it's next weekend isn't it that's the 27th i thought is it the 17th or 27th please say it's 27th i've got work off that day (laughs) i think it is the 27th that's next weekend isn't it no two weekends We'll tell you about that. Oh, maybe, after the party. You're right. You're right. Twenty seven. Good to know. Yeah. So yeah, we, so we have, we have to, to start doing time. That. I got, I gotta start like 
We should all go to the store one night. Yes, I want. I want to buy like one of those frilly shirts. <laughs> yeah, the, like flowy white shirts. Uh, what else? What else would I? I need a sword. I'm gonna go with cutlass. Need a sword. Yep. Uh, I'm, of course, a hat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have a hat in somewhere. I think it's in a closet downstairs, somewhere. Hmm. What else do we need? I'm not gonna do an eye patch. I was thinking about that. I learned the other day. I wasn't. I forget where I saw it, but pirates use eye patches not because they would lose their eyes. It was so they could see both above and below decks. Yep. Because like it would you'd cover one, so it was like when you're out in the sunlight, it doesn't like your pupils will yeah contract. And then when you go downstairs, so, you're like, oh, I can see again. Yeah, you just flip it to the other side so you can see when it's, when it's dark. So I, I thought that was interesting. Pirates are smart. Also, living like a pirate would be terrible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Scurvy is a is a poor way to go. No. <laughs> Steal more oranges, you guys. <laughs> oranges. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to Pirates. That's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Um, I'm oh, honestly just excited to go hang out with Tara's family because they, <laughs> they're they interesting people. I love her grandma. <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah, right. Uh, that was fun. She, she, was, she, was, she was a character. Yeah, didn't she take you the last party we were at to do a tarot reading for like an Two hours. That was that long. It was. I, a I, long I was drunk. Tara, I was drunk. Tara's family. They're into um, tarot cards and tarot reading. Um, so Tom, her grandmother came up to Tom or to all of us, I guess, and was like, "Hey, we want to get their tarot cards read." Blah, blah, blah. And Tom was like, "Yeah, sure, whatever." So Tom disappears inside the house with Tara's grandmother and just doesn't come back. Like we're like, "All right, he'll be gone 10, 15 minutes, whatever." But it was like an hour and a half, two hours later, and we're like, where is Tom? And then you just come waltzing out with her grandmother. And I was like, it was a long time. It was weird. Huh. You never told us what happened in there. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She read my tarot cards. I don't know. She told me I, I thought that, I thought I can't tell people. It's like the way she, I'm I think you're allowed to. I don't know. There's, there's a whole, like, there's a bunch of weird rules. Because yeah. I know you can't observe someone else's tarot. Like, Tara's explaining this all to me. Um, you can't observe somebody else's tarot card reading unless they give you permission. Yeah. And, like, there's some weird stuff. Is like, how you touch the cards if somebody else has touched the cards. Like, there's, certain, there's a whole bunch of rules. To, I don't understand how it works. I don't know, but it, I was mystified. It was it was awesome. Honestly, Tara's really good at it. I don't. I think a lot of it is just reading people and, under, like, understanding how they act in kind of their lives. And, like, Tara's really good at it. Like, she'll say things that it's, like, you haven't told people, but are like super accurate. But I think that's just because she knows us well enough and can read us, so she kind of knows what's going on without us telling her. Um, but that's that's a very important but, skill. Yeah, no, she she's really good at it. And it's honestly kind of impressive to watch her do it. Like I, I I don't believe like you can just read someone's future with cards, but it's it's, it's cool to see. Um, yeah, I can't remember any other costumes we had. Any other, we've. We we didn't really do it for too much. Yeah, we've never really done anything crazy on Halloween. I lived in Salem. This is Halloween. Halloween. Uh, Halloween. I guess it was 2014. We have to do what we have to do. Spooky maze. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. Yeah. Like no, but Salem, Massachusetts, um, where the witch trials were for Halloween, is super fun. Like there's this whole me and the perk girl I was dating. Her name was Jenna back then. Um, We went to this whole like. It was it wasn't even a haunted house. It was like a whole haunted village. It was super cool. They had different mazes. They had rides. They had food they all, but it was super cool and they had like people dressed up that walk around and like do stuff to you it was super fun um and then you have like the halloween parade which is super cool like people go really hard for it and like there was like the whole cast of harry potter there was but the flows that it was like a really well put together thing it was really cool um but the entire town they have like 600 cops on duty yeah i can on, see that on halloween night like a lot of under it was it's so wild there's so many people and it's just so crazy. It's so, so much fun, though. We should do that one this year. We we all can. We're all capable adults. Yeah, actually, that'd, that'd, be, money. That'd, be, that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, there, we'd probably need to find a place to stay, though. Because there's no way you get out of there. Like true. once you're in, you're in. True, true, true. I mean, it's probably too. I bet every hotel is booked. Oh, oh my god! I believe I like, believe it. Months in advance. We should do it for next year. I believe very least then. That would be cool. We should plan to do something like that. But yeah, if you're if you're gonna go down to, ha- to Salem ever for Halloween, it's do actually it. super fun. In Salem, I actually love Salem. The town. I wasn't a huge fan of the school when I was there, but because I left, um, 
but the town is so nice. So like just any time there, especially during the fall, like it's such a pretty place. I would love to go back there. Yeah, yeah, we should do it. Cool. Yeah. For Halloween. For Halloween. Yes. But we'll, we'll, maybe we'll plan for next year to go there for Halloween. Try to get everybody to come. It's gonna be a blast. Yeah, I'm feeling. I f- I'm feeling you. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's, that's creepy. What? Um. All right. Um. I think we're gonna call it there. Unless you have anything. Um, anything else to add? Eric, you made a lo- wonderful table. Eric <laughs> made this table. It's I did. Not, it's not finished yet, but he, it's, it looks it's awesome. It is. I'm telling this, you guys, this is this is just the tabletop that we're that we're it's working on. Awesome. Eric <laughs> Eric is a carpenter. He makes awesome things. And if you mm-hmm. want to see more, you should be like Eric. Show me more stuff, and he will. <laughs> no, okay. And <laughs> find me on Facebook. You can see all my work. He, um, he needs to make me a deck box for my magic cards. Do it. Do it. We have a. You have built one a while ago. I know. When you, you came still here. have it? I think so. You should finish it. I think it's down around near the game room. Goals. Squad goals, fam. Lit. <laughs> 420 Blaze at hashtag something. <laughs> right. We're cutting that out. All right, what? everybody. What? Who are we? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for listening. Um, we'll be next week, hopefully. We'll oh, have yeah. another video out. We're going to try to do weekly, at least. Cool. We're getting closer. We're getting better with schedules and stuff. Yeah. Um, anyway, but um, like us on Facebook. Um, subscribe on YouTube. Leave a like on YouTube. Leave a comment. It helps a lot. Um, and any little bit, things like that really kind of pushes us to get out there. And tell us if you like the the, uh, the, the video. Thing. Yeah, we're trying out the video this week. So hopefully uh, those of you watching on YouTube actually enjoy seeing our faces where we talk rather than just if you looking are- at a picture of our kind of logo. But if you don't like this, you can listen to the podcasts yeah, on different can. areas, like yeah, Eric said. Podcasts is on iTunes, uh, Google Play, Spotify. Uh, I'm trying to get it on SoundCloud and Stitcher. Maybe probably not SoundCloud because I go through Libsyn. Oh, okay. Um, so, but anyway, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, YouTube. You can find us all those. Like, subscribe, comment, send us a message. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. I love you. <laughs>